Going under a screen, this is taking way too long right here, okay? This player's coming off the screen, so you need to do, do whatever you can. You cannot make contact with the screener. Go on, way under so you can meet this player on the other side, okay? But look at this. I mean, this is just, you cannot be making this much contact with the screener. It, Playing the gaps, and it's great that you are. You, your feet have to be stationary. First of all, right now, get your back completely to the baseline. And you can't move inward. I mean, look at Olenek. Look at this right here. Look at his feet. Where are they going? Inward. So now you're not getting back outward. Got a stagger screen here. This jazz player's got to go under this first screen. Okay? And then you go over the second one. Like you're going over the first one. Look at the space. Now you have no chance of carding over the second one, and now Trey Young curls and one. If you're Kelly Olenek, you have got to communicate that you're not getting to John Collins right here. Okay, so when this pass gets made, you got to tell people, like Walker Kessler's got to know that he's got to slide over to John Collins. Okay? Like, that has to be the case. So when John Collins catches this ball, this player would slide here. Okay, this player can come underneath here, and you can go over into this area here. But you have to communicate. You're not getting to John Collins. I don't even know why it's a, a thought. Okay, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. This jazz player's taking Trey Young. This jazz player's got to come and take John Collins. I mean, what? What? Okay, you cannot guard Trey Young with Lowry Markin in one-on-one. -on -one. So you got to come in in the gaps here. This player's got to have his right foot parallel to the block. This player can also move in back to the baseline. So if I'm Lowry Markin and I'm not defending like uh, I'm on an island, okay? I'm defending like I, I can push Trey Young this way or I can push Trey Young that way and I have help. But, you know. <laughs> Never, ever jog back in transition. It doesn't matter your man's here. You need to sprint. I mean, Trey Young's in the open floor right now, okay? So look at this player jogging. Stop. So if you had sprinted, you're here. And now this player can just get up and force Trey Young this way, there's no place to go. But instead, you're out here, and you're you're useless on this play. And now Trey Young is going to roast his man. Okay, if you are Lowry Markinen, you cannot guard Trey Young one-on-one -on, -one on an island. That's never going to work, okay? And this player comes into the gaps. So you've got to understand that you're not guarding on an island. So right now, get your hand off Trey Young and just guide him into this help here where we can stunt and recover. The only way you get beat here is if you allow a step back is going on here okay this jazz player here has got to identify i'm taking this player here call it out so this jazz player knows to go here why do we have two jazz people guarding one hawks player if you are switching a ball screen here you need to get underneath the screener immediately battle for real estate initiate contact now there is no waiting look at this you switch over the top you just let this hawks player go all the way down there Okay, let's not run the give up A.J. Griffin wide open jumper play. Let's get up. Let's push him out. Now, Mike Conley can drop, get way lower here, and there's no place for this player to roll to. Okay, and we're pushing A.J. Griffin out. But nope, we're, we're going to run the let's give A.J. Griffin open jumper play. Cannot lean towards the screen. Look at this jazz player here. You lean towards the screen. You're going to get beat the other way every time. Interesting defense. The Jazz are going to run the let's give Trey Young a wide open, basically, layup play. Okay. Uh, no, let's push Trey Young out. There is no place for this player to roll. The Hawks spacing is garbage. Markinen's right there in backside help. But nope, this is the play. This is the defensive scheme you run. All right, so the Jazz just don't understand how to guard stagger screens right here, okay? You have to go under the first and over the second. When you go over the first, look what happens. Stop. Look at this space. You're done. It's Trey Young. You're finished, okay? And now let's just catch, pump, go right into the lane, too. Jazz are just awful at going under screens. You cannot attempt to go over the screen if you're going under. You got to go under immediately. Look at this Jazz player. Look at him attempt to go over. Well, now look. Now you're on, this player's on the other side of the screen ahead of you. That's got, that's got the defense in scramble mode. Wide open three for DeAndre Hunter. Okay, so the Jazz are going to run the let's give up a two-on-one play. Okay, let's just see if we can avoid that. I think we can. We just hedge and get Trey Young out. Again, backside help right here. Skip pass is made. I can recover. But nope, let's run the give up a two-on-one play. 
Okay, this is totally unacceptable. Atlanta has the ball. Could either of these Jazz players, preferably both, you know, give effort, sprint back? Look at these Jazz players. Look at them. What are you doing? <laughs> what just happened there? You are this Jazz defensive player here. Please get underneath your man, right? Please. Like, what are you doing here? Look at this. <laughs> How did this space just get created? Like, wh what? Boy, do the Jazz lack attention for detail. Look at Mike Conley here, okay? Atlanta has this ball. Pl so, sprint back. What are you, what are you, why are you going towards, you just gave up numbers. And for what? Horrible switch right here. Stop. So if you are switching this screen, this player's got to be leveled to his man and ready to guard. You can't switch a screen. Pfft. You just get what? Lowry Markin is coming over here to guard this jazz player. Now he shouldn't be standing in the middle of nowhere. He should already be there. But what's the, this jazz player has nothing to do with that. This is your man. What? How? How do you just not guard your man anymore? a down screen right here. Don't go up the gut. You need to be attached to your man and chasing over the top. Look at the angle when you go up the gut. Now you have no chance of guarding anymore. <laughs> this is funny. The Jazz are going to run the let's give up a two-on-one play and expect it to end any differently. Okay, so you want to actually play defense here. You're going to push Trey Young out. There's no place for this player to roll to. The backside helps right here, but nope. Let's run the give up a two-on-one play and try and expect something different than that happening. Okay, so the Jazz switched this ball screen right here. Now, on no planet whatsoever can Kelly Olenek guard Trey Young on the perimeter, okay? So you cannot leave him on an island. Right here, you need to get up and force him this way. There's traffic here, okay? If this player has to step up uh, to take Kelly Olenek, this player can just slide down. Lowry Markkinen can pinch in a little bit, and this player can also... Just stay right here, okay? But, I mean, uh, uh, nice. Yeah, you never guard above the three-point line away from the ball. You're all, you drop with your back to the baseline. So now when this player comes this way, I can stunt. I'm already there, and I can recover. And this dribble gets picked up out here, okay? But look, this player's guarding above the three-point line. He's late to get into the gaps. Two points.